Hey everyone, welcome back to Couch Conversations with Sasha Love. I'm your host, Sasha Love, and we are here with another episode in our series called Rediscovering You. This is kind of a self-love journey of sorts where in the beginning, I've challenged you throughout each and every single episode to dig deeper, dive deeper, get to know yourself more, and really experience what it means to rediscover who you are, embracing who you are and loving who you are as you are now and as you continue to grow and heal into a better version. So today, this topic is going to be a bit of a challenge to try to explain, but I hope I do a pretty decent job in it. Um, if not, I'll probably redo it, it's fine. But the general concept for today is being mindful about what you are reinforcing. So as I've done some reading and some researching and also my own soul searching, you become familiar with certain things. And one of those things um, is a concept called attachment theory. So as you know, there are several different attachment styles, um, anxious, avoidant, secure, uh, with secure being like the, the healthiest type of attachment. And um, as you study or as you begin to understand these different attachment styles and identify with one more than the other, there's a thought, there's this concept that comes to mind as well underneath that. And that's the realization that over time, from the moment you were a baby to where you are now, there were certain aspects about attachment that were reinforced to you. So taking that principle, I'm applying it to how we view and have a relationship with ourselves and by extension, other people. What are the things that we, we are reinforcing to ourselves? Are we reinforcing negative thoughts that we're not worthy, that we're not enough, that we're deserving of the terrible things that have happened in our lives, that we are destined to always have tragedy or to the opposite? Are we reinforcing, avoiding facing our issues and seeing ourselves as perfect, as seeing ourselves as invincible, as seeing ourselves as individuals who don't need to fix themselves, who don't need to grow, who don't need to heal from certain things? Are you in a space where you have a healthy balance where you are reinforcing that yes, while there are areas I need to grow in, but there are aspects of me that are good. There are parts of me that I love and that I cherish. What are you reinforcing to yourself on a daily basis? This is kind of something that's very important to really address because I feel like a lot of the big moments that we have, the big revelations we have, sometimes, there are sometimes like literally revelations we have at that mo at that moment in time but sometimes they're accumulative accumulative um reservoir of things that we've picked up on in life i'll give an example so for me for the longest time i was always ashamed by how i looked and I always felt like I would have to fit a certain mold, that I have to look a certain way, that my hair had to be done a certain way, that I had to appear and present myself in a certain way in order to be accepted, in order to be wanted, in order to be a part of something, part of a community, part of a circle. And over time, granted, Maybe the, the messaging was sent to me when I was younger, but over time I took over that role of reinforcing that, oh, you're too big or, oh, you're too short or, oh, your face is too wide or, oh, your nose is too big or, oh, like your hair is too kinky or too curly or it's not straight enough or it's not styled in a way that's popular enough or whatever the case may be. Little by little, I was reinforcing something that I thought to be true about myself. 
when we're finally aware of the things that we are reinforcing to ourselves, we are then invited to an opportunity to either continue reinforcing that if it's something good, health, healthy and beneficial, or to learn how to switch gears and let go of this reinforcement. While we don't have control over the things that the programming that we received when we were younger about certain things about ourselves, while we don't have control over the trauma we've experienced or the tragedy that we faced, while we don't have control over the actions and behaviors of other people, especially when it was done, when things that were done in harm to ourselves, what we do have control over is the narrative that we choose to believe and the truth that we reinforce to ourselves, whether it's in our thoughts, whether it's through actions, whether it's through our own words, or whether it's through our behaviors, our pattern of behavior, our character. So what does that look like? Taking the time to dissect how we have been, what we've been reinforcing and then from there, make adjustments. Well, it starts by acknowledging the truth that you believe about yourself. Do you believe that you're unworthy or do you believe you're worthy? Do you believe you're incapable or do you believe that you can achieve anything you set your mind to? Do you feel like you're described and Do you feel like you're described by and that you're completely identified by your failures? Or do you view failures as opportunities for growth, as opportunities to grow and do better and learn more and try to do things differently or to tackle a particular problem or project from a different angle? What are the truths that you believe about yourself? What are the truths that you believe about life? And once you've defined those for yourself, then you can backtrack and see, okay, when did I first believe this? And how am I reinforcing it? Is the reinforcement mostly coming from me? Is it a combination of reinforcement from myself and other people? Is the reinforcement coming more from external things? such as social media. Once you define what the truths are, and then once you figure out when it started and how it's being reinforced, then you can make adjustments about how to correct it if needed or how to continue if needed, depending on the type of reinforcement it is. So for argument, let's, not for argument's sake, but for the sake of our discussion, let's focus on the reinforcements that aren't healthy. And kind of let's stick with the example from my experience where I felt like I didn't look good enough, where I felt like I didn't look the way society wanted me to look. When I observed that truth and when I backtracked to where that came from and when I backtracked to how I was reinforcing that or where that reinforcement was coming from, I realized that while at first the reinforcement came from external factors, from people, from magazines, from the movies, from TV, from family, from friends, I realized that at some point I had taken on the role for myself to reinforce that I was not good enough, that I did not look good enough. I also noticed the kind of information I was allowing myself to see on a daily basis, the kind of movies I was watching, the kind of TV shows I was watching, my social media content feed, my Facebook or Instagram or Snapchat, the articles I would read, the magazines I would read, the people that I would interact with, the kind of conversations I would have. I noticed all the different ways that I was reinfor reinforcing this same unhealthy message. And then from there, I learned to make adjustments as necessary limiting social media or maybe unfollowing some people that I realized when I observed their channel, when I watched their channel, I felt shamed or I felt embarrassed. 
I would unfollow. I would limit my social media exposure and spend time doing things that were healthy for me. Watching what I ate, learning about, and not watching what I ate from a place of like, oh my gosh, I'm afraid to eat or I don't wanna to eat too many calories. It was more so what is good for my body? What is healthy to put into my body? What, what am I putting into my body? Am I eating mindlessly? Am I eating out of um, emotion or from a place of emotion? Or am I stress starving myself? Because for me, I tend to eat less when I'm stressed. So am I avoiding food because I'm stressed because I'm panicking about how much weight I'm gaining or not gaining or how much I'm losing? So I took some time to focus on, so I let go of, sorry <laughs> i'm like all over the place but anyways i i wasn't doing it so much from that space of like anxiety or stress or per perseverating on what i was doing to look a certain way it was more from a place of i want to take care of myself and while i may not know what that looks like i want to learn what healthy healthy eating looks like what does intuitive eating look like um what are healthy food options um what are fat diets because also getting knowledge about what's not good was also helpful as well what are fat diets what can they do to your body what is the harm of fat diets how can i move my body in a way that also feels good how can i stay disciplined with my exercise and my routine so that i'm not only feeling good but i'm doing things that strengthen my body that bring other benefits more than just how I look. And then of course, having conversations with those that I care about, those closest to me about health and wellness, especially with people who don't focus so much on the scale or people who don't focus so much about looking a certain way or people who don't focus so much on following the latest trend. Instead, I learned to start spending more time having more wholesome conversations about health and wellness being vulnerable about thoughts I've had about myself, about my body, and learning from the experience of others to have a healthier perspective of myself, to have a healthier perspective of what health means, and to begin doing the work of reinforcing healthy and helpful thoughts about my body, how I looked, and how I felt about myself. So that was kind of an example. Hopefully that kind of makes sense. But the general principle is I took an idea that wasn't healthy for me to have. And I did a little digging about where that first came from as far back as I could. And then I figured out what are the ways that I am now taking that on to myself and reinforcing that myself. And once I've done all that work, then it's up to me to decide how do I want to change the story? How do I want to change the narrative? It's not an easy thing to do. And I promise you, I do not get it right every time. I'm not always perfect. And sometimes I'm peeking at that skill like, okay, has it moved? Has it not moved? <laughs> how do I look in this dress? How do I look in these jeans? So sometimes it does kind of creep back in. But then, you know, of course, I'm also noticing that with the positive reinforcement of this healthy perspective about my body, about myself, it actually works as well. Because when I have those thoughts that want to tempt me back to where I used to be, those health, that healthy reinforcement kicks back in and says, well, while I, I can acknowledge what you're feeling and thinking right now, this is what's actually true. This is what's actually healthy for you. This is what's actually helpful for you in the long run. So, yes, I, I know. <laughs> I mean, I can relate. Let me not say I know because every experience is different. But if this is something that you're struggling with or that is a challenge for you, I can relate to it. I can resonate with that. And I just want you to know that doing the work to be mindful about what you are reinforcing to yourself on a daily basis, moment by moment, is worth it. Because at the end of the day, being the healthiest whole version of yourself is worth the work, is worth the challenge of healing, is worth 
sometimes the frustration of trying to figure it out. And as always, if you need any support, if you need any encouragement, if you want to share your thoughts and your own journey, please feel free to reach out to me in any way, either through my email, which is below, or my handle on Instagram. So I think this is a good wrapping point. <laughs> this is a good cap to um, this concept. And if it wasn't clear, let me know. If, you, if a different approach to this would be helpful, definitely let me know. Um, but hopefully you're able to take something away from it that was meaningful. And if it was meaningful for you, definitely share it with someone else as well. And until next time, take care.